Well, hello, it is Sammy from SP Coaches College again. Hey, uh, Piggy in the Middle, maybe the the worst name for uh, taking a drill seriously. Uh, simultaneously, the best drill that exists in soccer. And I'm going to say that again for emphasis, bold statement here. Piggy in the Middle, also known as 5v2 as players get older and more technical, um, it is the best drill in youth soccer, in my opinion, through all my years of coaching, all my years of playing. Uh, there's no drill that simultaneously reinforces the passing, the movement, the offense, the defense, the strategy, the vision, and virtually everything you need to, to know about soccer um, on both sides of the ball in one single drill, perhaps except shooting. Uh, with that being said, um, I'm going to give you a rundown here about how to how to run it, why I like it, why it's important. Um, uh, I'll explain to you the setup, and I'll explain to you uh, what to emphasize and where the spotlights are. So I think you'll have a, a full picture here of why it's, it's such a, a powerful drill. All right, so here we go. Jumping into it. In terms of setup, it's pretty straightforward. It's a big circle. You, it's a game of keep away. You got uh, at least five, six, seven, eight, nine players on the outside and two in the middle. And as soon as the ones in the middle touch the ball, uh, they go to the outside and they become the offense. Uh, the object of the game is to keep it, keep possession as long as possible. And the object for the players in the center is to get the ball as quickly as possible. You will define that space with cones, not too many of them. Uh, but you want to make sure the players are not expanding the circle too wide as they're moving around. All right, that's, that's the case setup. Now, in terms of um, spotlight, uh, it shines a spotlight on two things. One, vision. From an offensive standpoint, uh, you have to be able to see where you want to be with the ball, where you want to knock it before the ball gets there, which is a huge part of keeping possession. Um, from a defensive standpoint, you need uh, tenacity. You need to be able to be resilient even as you're getting tired and strategic with at least your other, uh, the nearest other defender. So that teamwork and working together is critical for, uh, for defensive positioning and, and whether they're 5, 6, 26, or 46. Um, so for, in terms of emphasis... Uh, I think there's two key points of emphasis here. One is the easy pass. It is like almost unequivocally the most important thing about possession. If you know anything about, uh, understand Pep Guardiola and his, his strategy with, uh, with Man City, which used to be Barcelona and then Tiki Tac Soccer, you understand that their strategy was around small possession and that is exactly what this drill is about. Um, and then the movement. If players are not moving in support and seeing and trying to help each other out, not ambitiously making a great chip over the top or, or anything, but just moving and getting close and giving options, uh, the game gets immensely easier. And uh, and that's those are the two things to emphasize, I think, in this in this soccer drill. Um, in terms of uh, do's and don'ts or coaching tips, I'd say my suggestion, especially for young players, the youngest players is just call out and remind them as the flow of the game drill is playing out, easy, easy, yeah, easy ball. Where's the easy ball? You know, that's a good one. That was nice, yeah. And then uh, move to help, move to support. Like, keep moving, keep moving. Where's his options? And so you kind of got to, like, say those things as it's playing out. Another coaching tip, the converse of that is don't stop too often. Don't stop the drill to make your point. Just keep talking as it's going. They will learn as much from playing it as they're going to from you. Uh, and they will begin to figure out um, how to string together four, five, six, seven, eight, 28 passes. Um, and it just is, it's, I cannot say enough about this. I've probably belabored it already. Um, but please, please, please integrate it into your, uh, your practices, your warm up before training. And you can do this for the rest of your life. It is the most comprehensive, um, best drill to teach the range of, of tactics and technique and skill and movement and talking, and offense and defense that you're going to find. Okay, that's my point of view. Uh, good luck with it and have fun.